president i too would like to thank the rapporteur for her work on this important report. given the increasing numbers of skilled young graduates who find themselves without employment it is essential that the eu puts in place a system that allows our graduates to move and secure employment across the twenty seven member states with ease. studies show that fifty percent of young europeans wish to work abroad but are hindered in doing so by a, cum a cumbersome process. it is clear that the current system of recognising professional qualifications earned in another member state is time consuming, complex and not employer friendly. The harmonisation of rules concerning the exchange of information for each individual profession would be a welcome step along with creating a database systems and information sharing processes that will assist graduates in their mobility across the EU. In particular, I wish to draw the Parliament's and Commission's attention to the problems that graduates are dealing with in terms of the grey area around professional qualifications and by this I mean compulsory probationary periods that are not being recognised across borders. For example, I personally know of a young qualified teacher who has been awarded the academic qualification for teaching but cannot take up her work as a teacher as the probationary training undertaken in the UK is not being recognised in Ireland. However, on the other hand, her counterparts have no problem qualifying in the UK and completing their probationary training in Ireland. This administrative contradiction is placing many teaching graduates in limbo, their professional qualifications are recognised but they still not can take up employment as they cannot get registered. The lack of equivalence of standards here is causing real problems for graduates and requires immediate action from the Member States and the Commission in order to stop them being penalised for being mobile and taking up training opportunities in other Member States. Graduates should not be left in limbo and measures need to be implemented without delay to ensure that they have access to, to a truly internal market and the Professional Qualifications Directive is broad enough to cover all aspects of qualification. Thank you.